Hey, Raphael here today, and in this video we're going to be teaching you how to make a vertical scroll view with Objective-C and Xcode. So let's get started. So this is how the scroll view is going to look like. This is kind of a brief um, example overall. So there was not much programming to do, Just need, I'll just be showing you how to do everything step by step and I'll try to make this tutorial easy to understand as well. So this is made with Objective-C, just like before. If you haven't seen my other video yet, I teach how to make a scroll view horizontal. So this time we're going to be recording it vertically. So I'm going to be showing you how to make it vertical instead of horizontal. So let's get right into Xcode to continue. Okay, so onto the actual video. We're going to click on create a new Xcode project and we're going to choose our single view application. And we're going to click next. Product name, this is going to say, let's see, vertical uh, scroll view tutorial. It's the best name for that. So this, you can call yours whatever you fancy, or you can also do this tutorial in an already existing application. And language, make sure it is set to Objective-C, because our programming language that we'll be using is Objective-C. Um, the Swift, the Swift tutorial is going to be coming out in a few weeks, weeks as well, and we're going to click next. Save it somewhere nice and safe. So, I'm, for example, I'm saving it on my desktop, and just underneath our deployment info, we're going to be unticking. Oh, actually, no, leave portrait ticked. We're going to be unticking landscape left and right, as we'll be building this app in portrait mode. Obviously, if you if your app is running landscape, then you don't have to really do portrait, you can do upside down or any device orientation is possible with this, but I prefer to do it in portrait mode because I can add more um, vertical content there. Deployment target, this will be set to iOS 10, so it is pretty much requiring any iPhone or iPad to run at least iOS 10 and up in order to use our application. Obviously you can set the boundary to 9.2 if you decide to, but I'm going to leave it as 10.0. And lastly, we're going to take the requires full screen as well. Okay, now we're going to design our um, storyboard. So head over to your main.storyboard. So this one over here. Okay, and get rid of this little um, hold on, left pane over here. So this we're going to add in our uh, scroll view content. For, so what I mean by that is we're going to drag in a um, button which is going to say uh, button 1 and then this will be button 2 and button 3 so what we're going to be doing is the, these when we touch on the screen of the iPhone simulator which is this little guy over here it will scroll up and scroll down depending on where we swipe so in the previous video I did a horizontal tutorial so that was swiping left and right instead of up and down so that is the previous video you can check my channel out and see the video before this one that is the horizontal one tutorial and we're going to be now let's get right back into topic we're going to declare three IV outlets for each button so head over to assistant editor click on it select select this top file over here going to go to our header file which is our .h you controller the H. I'm gonna go as um parentheses and we're gonna space it out and we're gonna drag in a connection. We're gonna this is gonna be an outlet. It's going to be a button one. A type is a UI button. And then we're gonna do the same thing for each each other button. So button two and button three. Okay, and we're also going to declare a scroll view, so do IV outlet UI scroll view, um, asterisk, this will be scroll view, semicolon. So we're removing our assistant editor and we're going to head straight to our view controller, that H. So this is where we have declared our file, our um, buttons and our scroll view that is in our header file. So .m is in, in Objective-C, .m is an implementation file as well. Okay, now in our view did load, um, code over here, our method, we're going to get rid of that green um, comment over there, and we're going to say scroll view, 
um equals um dash dash and we're gonna do scroll view and it's allocate so alloc and we're gonna um go one close square bracket this will say init with frame and this will be cg rec to make so type in cg rec to make and for our x now this one i played around the numbers so you might need to change the numbers um to fit on your application so this kind of took me kind of trial and error so your um what i might show in this video it might be different for each individual so for mine i had minus eight um by 79 uh, 637 and we had 770 for the height and don't forget to end the line with a on semicolon as well and then do on self that view and we're going to add our scroll view so do add sub view and then scroll view because that's what we call our scroll view over here and now we're going to do scroll view and we're gonna set the content size so this will be a CG size make. Oop, wrong one, wrong one. Control, sorry. You go back, go back over here and do CG size make. This is what we, this is the one that we are looking for on scroll view, and the the bounds dot size dot width. Now we're not gonna be doing anything for the width. But we will be um, timesing the height by one and two tenths. So do scroll view to bounce dot um, size at height. Now times with an um, asterisk sign and do one point two. A close bracket and a close um, square bracket and a semicolon. So that was a little error. We, that was a little error by accident. Xcode's um, Xcode's thingy kind of screwed up a little bit. And but this but yeah we fixed it. So this is the one. This is the line that we want to add in. So make sure you had it in have this in before continuing and the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be adding so we're gonna add all buttons onto the scroll view now cuz now we're gonna do um self dot view and this will be add sub view and then whatever we call our buttons so we call button one two and three so it does it pretty much the scroll view needs to know about those buttons so it is adding it is adding the um buttons to eat to either scroll view. So the self the view we can actually replace that with scroll view instead because we're we're manipulating the scroll view, not the view itself. So I'm sorry I entered in the wrong thing. Okay. So now now all three buttons have been added to the scroll view as you can see in this um three lines over here. So let's build and run our application and test it out. For this tutorial we um built for the iPhone 8 screen. So let's click build and run. Okay, so the reason why we need iPhone 8 is because if you were to choose any other simulator over here, it will be either too big or too small, and that will make the app kind of display weirdly, and we don't want any of that to occur. So, there we go. The three buttons are now scrolling, and we want to, and now if you want to add some more, here I can show you how to add another one, so you need to add in a label for example this is only for example if you want to add in anything to the scroll view so before we can actually build and run our application we need to declare an IV outlet for the label then we need to add it to the scroll view itself so for that we can simply do IV outlet do a label and, and this will be called example uh, label and then in our view control that M this is very important so you need to do okay that made a deck okay this part is here is very important. We need to do scroll view, space add sub view, and then our label, which we call those. What do we call our label? Example label. So that is important, or else it will not affect the label, and the label will stay in its current position without moving at all. So don't forget that to add that in. Now we need to. Lastly, we need to drag in the example label, and we need to drag it to the label because we need to know what example label is referring to so which of these is the example label and we need to connect it so that Xcode will know which um, item are we manipulating over here so now Xcode knows let's click play and let's build and run our app again and see 
um, the new um, item that we've added on the scroll view. So over here, see our label is now moving along with the rest of the buttons. So scroll views are um, are very um, good in, if you want to add content that will kind of not fit on the screen. So you can like make the app freeform and if, if it goes outside the simulator, you can add a scroll view so it'll all all content you can um, scroll up, it will be visible on your iPhone screen or iPad. So yeah, that, that's so that's pretty much how you make a vertical scroll view that will move up and down. If you want the horizontal scroll view, which I also cover in a in my previous video, link will be in the description below uh, as well. Swift, the Swift tutorial is coming out in a few weeks as well, probably in 2018. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if this video helped you out.